Hey there everybody, Tromosphere here, again at A1 Moto Triumph in York uh, and today I'm going to be test riding the Triumph Sprint ST1050 um, Now a lot of you back, people might be looking at this bike and thinking well Really Trem? But yeah, and there's a reason for it and I'm going to tell you why in a minute But we're just going to get going and I'm going to put some fuel in it Also the audio might be a bit different today As um, oh as I'm not using my center Bluetooth headset. So where are my pegs? Pegs are still quite high up. All right, okay. Let's go then, clutch, medium. Let's go put some fuel in it. I've also got panniers on this currently. So, uh, yeah. Oh, that triple engine, beautiful. Right, I'll talk more about this uh, in a moment. Oh, this is lovely. <laughs> this is a real treat, honestly. Oh, wow. Now, this bike's surprising me because it feels like a naked Tora, but it's got, like, wannabe clip-ons, so I don't understand how, how that's supposed to work because I feel super upright, but yet yeah, they're not upright bars. Bizarre. I need to be careful with these panniers because uh, they're a bit wider than I'm used to. Looks like I'm fucking undressing. I've actually got my waterproofs on today because it has been raining, so I didn't want to get caught out by the weather. <coughs> right, let's go have a better look around at this thing and we'll start talking about it. So this is the Triumph Sprint ST1050. This is a sports Tora. Um, it's a 2007 plate. It's got panniers on it, obviously. Um, and the reason that I'm test riding this today is I'm thinking about a second bike, potentially, for me, the misses and Tora and opportunities. So this is the bike I'm looking at. And I love these Trident exhausts. Beautiful. So let's get on it. Straight away, got to mention this seat, man. It's so comfortable. Ugh. It's just hard to dodge them panniers, that's the thing. Right, clutching. It's nice because it's a triple as well. Like, I've never seen a triple Tora before that's not a Triumph, so. This thing only came up on my radar of bikes not that long ago. Let's talk about the weight firstly. The weight is not big. It's not a heavy bike. Um, even, more, even with the panniers on, it's not a heavy bike at all. Um, which is great because you don't want a heavy bike that you can potentially drop every opportunity so it is a good bike in that sense mirrors are absolutely phenomenal i can see forever in them uh they're adjustable on the lens just as they were on the uh on the panigale um they're fantastic mirrors they are absolutely wonderful mirrors they're just like car mirrors honestly they're great um the bars even though it has a sporty aesthetic to it the bars are super upright, I am so comfortable. Um, big screen here that you're far away from so the wind has been diverted over your head. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure some of the uh, newer models even come with built-in heated grips. So that's fantastic. You've got high beam, low beam, indicators, horn, you know, classic motorbike stuff, nothing too techy, which isn't bad. The dashboard, for me, is very reminiscent of a Hayabusa. Um, now it's quite a cluster so I don't know if I'm a fan of that there's a lot of stuff I'm trying to take in at once you need to know where you're looking uh, no uh, it has a time display I think but it's set wrong uh, miles per hour yeah revs to 12k you know got a nice bit of grunt lovely bit of grunt pulls you where you want to go uh, pegs, although my knees are bent back, um, not uncomfortable, they're not high, the pegs are not high up. Um, it's just a really manageable motorcycle to be honest. Um, really impressed so far. Really enjoying myself more than I thought I would actually. Uh, let's talk about when you throw it around a bit. Because it's wet obviously I can't really do too much, but on the move, flicking left and right, very manoeuvrable, very light. 
Uh, I haven't got loads of fuel in it. Let's just wind her up a little bit and see what she can do. Not a lot, but... Oh, it's definitely got some pull. It's definitely got some pull. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you were... Uh, if you want to go, this thing will get you there, which is great because I imagine on the motorway and stuff, this thing will just cruise around. Be lovely for that kind of stuff. I'm going to go take it onto a dual carriageway now because I want to test the wind on, you know, being a Tory, you know, it should be pretty windproof. So I want to test that theory. Um, not to mention, this has got a leather tank cover on it like my old Suzuki used to have. Um, which is great for strapping stuff on and all that, all the tawry kind of stuff. I, I can't get over how comfortable this seat is. The clutch is so light. That is that is a really light clutch. That's as light as Chris Moto 23 Scrambler, and uh, that's a brand new bike. And this is a two, this is a 10 year old. So you know that's pretty epic. The, the panniers are throwing me off a bit. Uh, not the looks. I love the looks, even with the panniers on. But what's throwing me off with um, the panniers is how much wider the bike is. But let's just stop here and have a look. In, I mean, in the reflection, man, it looks the dog's bollocks. It looks pretty mint. Uh, enough room behind me for a pillion. So I'm going to have to... Uh, I will get stuck behind a learner, wouldn't I? Uh, I'm going to have to let Mrs. Trem have a sit on this and see what she thinks. But so far, I am approving. Really liking it, really gelling with it. Really, really gelling with it. Let's just uh, overtake this learner. There we go. 70 mile an hour. Revving at 4,000 out of 12, so the engine is not stressed at all, which is great. The wind, I am getting some wind. Um, Nothing uncontrollable. You can always duck down like that a bit um, to get some of the wind off you. But I mean, the, the main the main wind is actually near my neck. Uh, my torso is pretty. Uh, got a bit of a hunk going there. Let's get rid of that. I look pregnant. Um, yeah, the main bulk of the wind is on my neck and stuff. Like my body is pretty off the wind, which is great. We'll just stop here. That'll be fine. I, I'm not going to do any tripod shots today because the weather is terrible. Um, and I, I mainly just want to ride this bike more than anything else. Like, I really want to ride it. Oh, there we go. Right, let's have a look at her. So, Triumph Sprint ST 1050. Here we are. Uh, I love the headlights, man. The headlights are so cool. Uh, this one's got RNG crash things on, which I think I would have as well if I owned this bike. Very warm around the peg area there. Let's just have a look. Yeah, all from in here. Very warm. Cam fiber, rear mug guard. That's very nice. Um, Triumph boxes. I'm not going to fuck about with these too much, but they just go onto your grab rail. I know you can get a top box here as well. Uh, nice rear tail light, nice and easy and visible. Love the spokes on the wheels. Uh, just a really nice bike. It's not massive. You can get the another version of the Triumph Sprint called the GT. That thing is huge, man. The back end comes out like here. It's like a 1400 ZZR Kawasaki. Uh, so that's a bit big for my liking. Pillion capabilities. Pillion pegs are there. So it's going to be really comfortable for a pillion. Like The pillion is literally just going to be sat like that. So that's pretty good. Um, let's get back on and keep going now we've had a look around. It's really easy handling. Just watch this pull. This pull is pretty ridiculous for a Tora. Well, it's a sports Tora, isn't it? Oh, maybe not. As soon as you pin it back, it proper goes. It's lovely. Epic power delivery. Enough to keep you entertained on the power side. Lovely, absolutely lovely. It's not often I ride a bike like this with these kind of perks and I like it. I actually like it. Normally I'm like, uh, it's a bit old manish. But not with this thing, man. It's different. I, I like it a lot. I did actually consider a Triumph Tiger. 
but the nice ones cost a lot of money they cost about five to seven thousand pounds for a really nice one um, but if they came into budget I'd probably ride and be riding a Triumph Tiger now instead but what more do you need really a bit better brakes and just saying that if you, if you get a fistful like if you use four fingers instead of two like a squid like me it's actually pretty decent how we doing? We're doing good. It is pretty special because it looks good. It genuinely looks mint in my opinion. And the Tora capabilities are just endless. I'd be... If I bought one of these with good mileage, I'd probably keep it... Maybe till the day it dies? Or just... Well, unless I decide to chop both bikes in for some mint. But yeah, I'd probably end up keeping it for uh, for a long time. Unless stuff starts to go wrong and stuff, but you get the you get the, you get the picture. You get the picture. Um, I I'm not I'm gonna level with you guys here. I don't know if the panniers are removable. I imagine they should be. Um, but I'd imagine for a test ride they would have taken the panniers off. So I don't know if they are. Um, but I, I thought they would be. They are. I did actually know they must be because I, I did see a screw going into the rear bracket. So the, that, you must have do that screw and then the pannier will come off. Um, it must have just been a case of we can't be arsed today. So, you know, fair enough, Triumph, fair enough. You seem very busy, had a lot on your hands. Uh, but yeah, this has been my review on the Triumph Sprint ST1050. Do not turn your nose up at this bike. Honestly, don't. I did a long time ago when I first saw one and I was like, what the hell is that? It looks nice, but what the hell is that? And no, for if you want a bike that looks sporting to go touring on, really fantastic option to try and sprint. Not too keen on the GT, but the ST, the one I'm riding today, definitely. Probably the colour scheme's helping as well, because it's red. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this has been my review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to try and keep test riding bikes as regularly as possible, as well as doing my own regular vlogs. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, and I'll go returner now.